Hi guys, in this video we're going to discuss weight training versus cardio, okay? Um, I've had some questions recently, which one should I do? Well, let's just kind of discuss that. Now, whether you're doing weight training or you're doing training without weights, but you're using your full body like push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, squats, things like that, there's two things going on. With weight training and using your own body weight, uh, you're using more of the body muscles, but not as much as the heart. Cardio is about working in the heart, okay? Now, the problem is that the heart has a less capacity to handle stress. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they do some type of exercise like the slam ball where you're taking this heavy ball and slamming it or plyometrics where you're hopping back and forth or sprints to the point where they really raise the pulse rate way up here and they don't give, a, give their body a chance to settle down enough. So they'll, they might rest for 30 seconds. And so the pulse rate comes way up and it comes down just a little bit and then they do it again comes down a little bit and they do it again. That is not healthy for the heart. It puts the heart under a lot of stress, especially if you're in your 50s or even 60s or even 40s. What would be much better is to sit down and let the pulse rate come way, way down until you don't feel it pounding off your, out of your chest, okay? And that'll take the stress off the heart. And maybe do uh, more uh, workouts that exercise a lot of the muscles, but not necessarily focus on the heart at first and then gradually work into it. But anytime you're doing the heart type cardio, you want to spike the pulse rate, but you want a lot more rest in between, okay? One of the best indicators for health is how fast the pulse rate can recover after one minute. And uh, so if you find that your pulse rate's not coming down fast enough, then this applies to you. If you're 18 years old, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, the other situation is the liver and the muscles have stored glycogen, that's sugar. And what happens is when you work out, you deplete the sugar and you can feel dizzy or weak from that. So the sensation of you know, overworking the heart is pretty much the same symptoms as when you deplete the glycogen. So that's another reason why you need to do keto and intermittent fasting. So you're not relying on this stored sugar anymore, so you don't have this blood sugar thing. So in summary, the two things you need to do, go easy on the cardio, okay, and do keto and intermittent fasting. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.